in this video i want to show you how you can export your revit 3d to 3ds max now there are so many reasons why you need to export it to 3ds max number one is if you want to use 3ds max to render it then you need to export it to 3ds max or if you want to render it with lumion by experience i discovered that if you export from revit to lumion direct it doesn't work because the material will be lumped together so to avoid that you will rather export it to 3ds mask first then from 3ds mask you can now take it to lumion this way the materials will be separated then in 3ds mask there are some things you can adjust in 3ds mask which cannot be done with revit so that is one of the reason why you need to export to 3ds mask especially from revit but if you are using sketchup you can export from sketchup direct to lumion so in this video you will learn how to export to 3ds mask right away so what you are going to do is you are going to go to your 3d view as you can see i am in 3d view now it only work in 3d view it doesn't work in plan or elevation so make sure before you start exporting you are in 3d view and make sure the materials are properly named all the materials that you want to use are properly named because by the time we get to 3ds mask we are going to import by material that means all the materials are going to be lumped together you can see take for instance this roof will be lumped together they will be together they will be one when we take it to 3ds mask then this wall this wall that has the same name the same material will be lumped together like this one now by the time i take it to 3ds mask i want this one to be brick and that is why let's see the the name of the material i give it i give it um column gray and that means in 3ds mask is going to be brick so that is why that one is different then let's look at this one this wall is what let's check the material the material is paint five that means that material is separated it's going to be different in 3ds mask all right so let's export it to 3ds mask now we go to application menu this is the application menu and we hit export to fbx file then we are going to select our folder okay this is our folder so we have selected our folder and we are going to give it a name the name we want let me give it uh, revit slash revit stroke 3ds max tutorial all right so i'm going to hit save and once i've saved it's now saved as an fbx file so the next thing we'll do is to go to 3ds mask and open it application i'm going to so we're in 3ds mask now i'm going to go to application menu i'll hit on this arrow then i'm going to go to link fbx file then i'm going to go to my folder i have my folder in 
Revit tutorial and this is it here yeah? this is the file so I click open and you can see make sure you set these to combine by Revit material and when that is done you hit attach this file all right so this is our file in 3ds mass so i'm going to delay this camera i don't need it in 3ds mass so this is it here okay you can see let me show you what i was talking about the roof are lumped together that means whatever material you apply to this roof will apply to every part of the roof then this one is also lumped together i will want to use brick here all right this is where this video is going to stop thank you for watching this video if you like it gives it a thumbs up let me know your question in the comment section bye